So you are building out your custom Copilot in Copilot Studio and you are wanting to send a message that utilizes an adaptive card to share whatever information that it contains. Now, thankfully you are in the right place because that is exactly what we're gonna be covering step-by-step, -step, complete beginner's guide in this video right now. Okay, cool. So here I am within Copilot Studio and I am looking at our coffee Copilot within our order a coffee topic. And right now we have a confirmation message that the order has been submitted. And right now I don't really love the look of it. For example, this is what it looks like here. And I just think we could really give this some I don't know, pizzazz, I guess, if that makes sense, to make this look better and more professional. And so in order to do that, we're gonna utilize an adaptive card. Now, in my opinion, adaptive cards within Copilot Studio right now are not very intuitive, and I've even found that they're really annoying to work with. Sometimes where I make some changes and then I leave the adaptive card editor and my changes weren't actually saved, even though I thought they were neither here nor there. Let's go ahead and show you how to do that. So you're gonna to wanna to find the conversation node or create a send a message node. And you can click add kind of in this top left hand corner and click adaptive card. Now, this is going to add an adaptive card on top of your message. So just be aware that like, if you only want the adaptive card to be sent, then you need to delete the contents of your message. Does, does that make sense? You don't wanna send, you know, contents of a message and an adaptive card. Maybe you do, but just be aware that these are, you know, you can do both things in the message node. Now, you'll see that when I click on this, it opens up the JSON for the adaptive card designer. You can actually click this button to be navigated directly to the adaptive card designer. Now, I would highly, highly, highly recommend using this. I, by no means, am an adaptive card expert, but utilizing this, does help me build what I need. Now, a couple things to note is in doing this right now at this point in time, Copilot Studio conversation nodes can only digest up to version 1.3 adaptive cards. So if you notice in the top right hand corner, the default right now, the most up to date is version 1.6. You are gonna wanna make sure you set this to version 1.3. That does remove some of the possible elements from the list, but you're gonna wanna do that because if you build an adaptive card that utilizes those components and then try to give it into Copilot Studio, it's not gonna work. So make sure you set your target version to 1.3, and then you can go ahead and update this as necessary. Now, I have actually gone ahead and already created an adaptive card for my scenario. Right, we have our order confirmation and then this is where we'll list our order number and this is where we'll share the estimated wait time. And we're gonna have a rate your experience um, button where they can submit comments or feedback. Now, here is my card, here is the content. I can copy the card payload and go ahead and go over here and now make sure when you do this, you are on the edit JSON. Make sure you are not on the edit formula. Make sure you are on the edit JSON. Now, I can go ahead and remove this and copy in the sample payload. Now, at this point in time, our adaptive, our chat will send an adaptive card. Our copilot will send an adaptive card, but you might note that this adaptive card at this point in time does not contain the variables that we want it to. Now, for example, I am gathering, you know, creating an order number and an estimated wait time previously from this Power Automate flow. I want to send those variables within the message, within this card. Now, how do we create that? You need to then, with your adaptive card in here, go and switch this to formula. Now, one note, once you do this, you cannot flip back to JSON without just discarding your entire adaptive card. I don't know why, I'm sure if you understand and you you understand this stuff, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love for you to teach me, but you know, just know that once you switch it to edit formula, which is what you need to do to utilize variables, you can't switch it back. Um, just for the sake of making this larger, let me go ahead and open it up. 
you can kind of see the defined contents. And right here we have the text order number. Now we don't want to send the text order number. We want to you we want to share our order number variable. So if I remove that, including the parentheses, I can go ahead and start typing out the schema name of our variable. Now no, your variables will likely start with a topic period or a global period prefix. So for my example, my variables are topic variables. So if I start typing out topic and put a period, you can see all of my topic variables in this topic. And we have order number here. If I select that, why it's jumping around, I'm not sure. But we have now we have our topic order number variable will show in the text of this text block. Now, the same is true for this here. Now we want this to say the estimated wait time colon space, followed by then our estimated or our wait time variable. So in order to do that, if you wanted to add text with the variables, which is very likely, add your text within the double quotations, a space, an and sign, a space, and then your variable. So topic, period, wait time. So now what this is going to show is everything that we needed to. It's going to show the contents that we need. I can go ahead and click out of this card editor and make sure I save. Now with our adaptive card updated, let me go ahead and resend this message. Here it has sent our adaptive card. It has added our order number and our estimated wait time of three minutes and we have our rate your experience button. I hope this makes sense. I will say one, one final thing here, and this is kind of just further discussion that I was on a project where we were building a pretty detailed in-depth adaptive card and it was taking contents that we were, were gathering within a power automate flow. What we actually had decided to do was define the adaptive card within the power automate flow and then pass that entire adaptive card code json back to the copilot within a variable itself called you know adaptive card content or something like that so then what we did within our adaptive card i'm just going to create a new one we had an adaptive card and i instead of having any of this we just related to our topic adaptive card content you know, whatever that variable was called and related it to that and that still showed the adaptive card content. Now, for some reason with this, whenever I would do it this way and I would save it, now obviously this variable doesn't exist on this copilot, but I would save it, it was green check mark, you know, I'd, whatever, and I'd click off the conversation node. The moment I'd click back on it, it would clear out the contents of this. I don't know why, I, I have no idea, but maybe, maybe a known bug by Microsoft, I'm not sure, but. That is just another potential solution that I guess I wanted to share and discuss is that you can build adaptive cards within Power Automate flows and pass the entire content of the adaptive card back to your copilot and then add that variable as the content of the adaptive card. I hope, I hope that makes sense and might be what you need for your scenario. If you are wondering how I connected this copilot to a Power Automate flow, you are gonna to wanna to check out this video right here as I walk through everything you need to know step by step, the buttons you need to click, the screens you need to go to, the inputs and the outputs you need to set up. Thank you so much for seeing the end of the video. My name is Griffin Lickfeld, the host of the Citizen Developer channel, and I'm excited to connect with you in the next one.